Hi everyone and welcome to your Divine Masculine Tarot Love Messages. Um, these messages that are going to be read today, they are general guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So today I am going to do things a little bit differently and I'm only going to be using the Angel Answers Oracle cards. So um, I'm going to pull out a few cards and I'm going to extract the messages that um, you're meant to hear today. Okay, so if you are watching this video, I feel like this is really going to, well, you were meant to hear it. Okay, for one reason or another, these messages were meant to find you or you were meant to find these messages. So I do hope, uh, you know, they are helpful in that instance. With all of that said, let's shuffle the cards and see what messages he, you're guided, you're being guided to. Okay, we've got the message to be assertive, forgiveness, abundance, big happy changes, compromise. Opportunity. Let go and we've got a very firm no down the end. Okay, I just had to straighten out the cards. Um, okay, be assertive. I feel like there's a message here for some of you to balance out the energies between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, okay? so And it's also being assertive in your approach here. Okay, that's better. I had to sh um, I had to straighten it out. Okay, be assertive. For some of you, I feel like the the cards here are telling you, you know, you have to be a little bit more assertive here with your um, twin flame here or with your romantic connections. Um, being assertive means that it's the quality of being self-assured it's a quality of being confident with that necessarily coming across as too cocky arrogant or aggressive okay so be confident in who you are in what you want in what you can bring to the table and what your expectations are okay because some of you i feel like um maybe you're not necessarily assertive in you know the beautiful energy that you are or the wonderful things that you can bring to a relationship or the wonderful things that you deserve okay so it's time to start feeling a little bit more assertive and watch how there will be, you know, watch how internal shift will also project external shifts around you. For others of you, I'm seeing that forgiveness is absolutely necessary to bring in a lot of abundance with regards to your twin flame, divine masculine, um, divine feminine connection. There's a need for you to forgive them, okay? Some of you, you love them, but love is not enough. Love won't help survive this connection, okay? There's a need for you to forgive this person. Forgive them for what they said or what they did or what they did to you. They didn't know any better. Okay, forgive yourself for being hurt here. Forgive yourself for you know feeling or acting foolish. She there's a need for you to forgive because essentially um, forgiveness here is going to liberate this weight off your shoulders. Okay, and forgiveness is going to remove any blockages. Not only external, but also internal blockages, okay? Because some of you, I feel like there's a barrier between you, you know, your DM and your DF in making a emotional connection. And what's happening is that barrier is being caused by a lack of forgiveness. So if you want more abundance, if you want more, you know, of a beautiful flowing energy with the relation to your twin flame, it's important for you to forgive them or forgive yourself, okay? Forgiveness is absolutely necessary. Not only is it important for, for you to forgive them, but it's, the forgiveness is important for you as well. Because without forgiving something or someone or forgiving yourself here, um, you sort of keep yourself caged here. Remember that forgiveness is a divine energy um, and sometimes holding on to resentment. A lot of the times holding on to resentment sort of, you know, it can ruin a perfectly good present or a perfectly good future here over something that's happened in the past that you cannot possibly change here. So forgiveness is absolutely important here to welcome abundance into your life. Um, that's one way of inviting abundance and prosperity in terms of love and romance and emotions here and just free-flowing beautiful energies here. 
and I feel like that's forgiveness is also not only is it going to be forgiveness is an attribute of the strong by the way not an attribute of the weak okay so don't feel like you know if you forgive someone if you forgive your enemies you, you're um, you're showing a weak character um, quite the opposite in fact you're showing to them and yourself just how you know strong and you're sh just how uh, much strength you have so forgiveness is going to create abundance and it's also going to welcome some big happy changes okay those big happy changes are going to be internally as well as externally so watch how when you shift your mental perspective here your emotional perspective everything in your world starts shifting what you look at will start changing as well there's a compromise that's also needed in your relationship and perhaps the reason why things aren't happening or aren't manifesting or there hasn't been any growth or any changes is because maybe you or your DM here is not willing to compromise, okay? Compromises are absolutely important and, and essential to any relationship, especially twin flame connections. So compromise is absolutely important in um, all relationships here. Um... You know, compromise is based on give and take, right? So make sure the en the energies of give and take are being balanced. There can be no giving um, without taking, and there can be no taking without giving, right? So make sure there's that balance. Okay? For others of you, I feel like the message is in uh, contradiction in here, and it's quite the opposite, I know, but some of you, I feel like you're on the other end of the numbers in a sense where you compromise too much of yourself, okay? If you're constantly compromising for your DM or for everyone else, um, if someone doesn't like you for who you are and if you have to compromise who you are to be with that person, to be with that DM or to be with that twin flame, then I feel like you're essentially, you're losing your identity for this person and this cannot be the right energy, this cannot be the right person for you. So some of you are doing too much of the compromising Okay, some of you are doing not enough of it. Others of you, you're doing too much. And if you compromise too much all the time, if you, you, you're you essentially sacrificing yourself and your identity for what I truly believe is not worth it. Um, some of you, I feel like forgiveness is going to bring in an opportunity to heal a situation, to heal yourself, to heal your DM, heal your DF, to heal the past, to heal any wounded souls, to heal any... um resentments here okay it's going to give you an opportunity that's going to create forgiveness abundance big happy changes compromise um some of you you have to let go here okay what does what does letting go here mean some of you are in a relationship that is fading that is expiring um, and some of you are holding on too tightly if at any one point you have to hold on or you're clutching on too tightly for onto something or onto anyone that thing is probably not meant for you and no matter how hold how tightly you hold on to it you know that thing is going to escape you okay so some of you i feel like you have to let go because you're holding on too tightly way too tightly so much so that your knuckles are turning white you have to let go what is meant for you, and I know it's very cliche, but if you let something go, what is meant for you will always come back, will always naturally gravitate towards you. What is not meant for you will escape, will elude you, no matter how tightly you clutch on here. So let go here, okay? Letting go. Letting go of past hurts, letting go of mistakes, letting go of resentments, of bitterness here. Letting go of that person, okay? To see just how far they will roam for you. Because some... Twin flames will roam the earth, but yet they will find you in the end. And some of you, I feel like there's a need for you to let go. Some of you, you have to understand that, especially with twin flames, the thing is people come and people go. That's life, okay? People come and people go. And sometimes you are the person that's coming and that's going in someone else's life. So stop holding on to those who... Stop holding on to those who have let go of you or have let you go a long time ago. Okay, I know that may be very hard to hear for some of you because I feel like it's very big and it's very powerful and it's very blunt. But some of you are holding on to someone here or you're holding on to something that has let you go a long time ago. Wow, isn't that, that's big. That's, when you think about it, I need you to pause this here. For some of you, you really need to hear it. You need, really need to hear the words. Don't just listen to it, really hear it. Like some of you are holding on to something that's let you go a long time ago. A love that lets you go okay there's no point at sitting around a table where there is no love that's being served on the menu okay and lastly is a firm no okay it's just a firm resounding no 
sometimes you're being told no okay because there are better opportunities that are coming in store for you so much even so much bigger and better than you've actually imagined I know it's a bit ironic, but I, I honestly believe that there is a beauty in no. And sometimes when something is being denied to you, or you think someone is rejecting you, or you think you know, you're being rejected by something here, I see it differently. I see it as you repelling that person, you repelling their energy, you repelling that thing. Not because, how do I say this? Not for any reason other than that thing is too small for you, or that thing is not meant for you. You know, that person is not your person okay that's not your story that's not your thing here there are bigger and better things in store for you okay a much bigger love a much more grander love much more grander opportunity so there's a beauty in no um and some of you i feel like the answer no the word no sorry the word no some of you you need to start simplifying your life okay and how do you do that by learning to say no all right, guys, and these are your messages here. I really do hope that these have been helpful. Thank you all again for your um, thank you for your time and attention. It is greatly appreciated. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, of course, your divine masculine, divine feminine tarot, daily tarot readings, and my weekly love tarot readings with you. So be sure to check that out across my channel. Um, otherwise, guys, bye for now.